Hey guys, welcome back to our dope playthrough of Pathfinder. We're about to try and get across this very dangerous cliff. So, let's see how it turns out. Damn! It's uh, just not my lucky day. Okay, I forgot to highlight everybody. The one thing it told me to do. Thanks, Lan. You're so awesome, Lan. Most of the game's mechanics are based on the rules of the tabletop RPG Pathfinder, which uses dice for determining outcomes of various actions. The most commonly used die has 20 sides, denoted in the rules as D20. It's the die you roll during attacks and skill checks when you need to roll dice. The specific type of roll is denoted as XDN, where N is the number of the sides of the die and you use, you use in this case. The X is the number of the dice rolled. For example, 1 die 20 means the result can be from 1 to 20, 1 roll of a 20 sided die, and 2 die 6, two, oh my goodness, 2d6 means from 2 to 12. Roll 2 6 sided dice and add up the results. Trying to get over the rebel, your character Lan got the result 20! Holy smokes! This result is the sum of the dice roll which was 13 and various modifiers such as the mobility skill bonus. The check's difficulty was 12. Since 20 is not lower than 12, the attempt has been successful. Nice! I'm going to take a drink of water. I'm losing my voice. Alright, let's roll. We made it. Every event is documented in the combat log bottom right corner of the screen. There you can see the results of the rolls your characters and enemies make, skill checks, and lots of other things. If you are happy, unhappy, with the way a combat goes, check out the details of the rolls. You might find some information that can help you to optimize your tactics. Got it. Yet another obstacle. Oh no. <clears throat> this is going to be our most difficult battle up to this moment. Do we switch it to tactical? See what happens if we just press spacebar first. Oh shoot, there's two! That's alright, we got this. Because I got fire. Get rolled. Easy. We're not even taking damage. I'm just so good. So good at this game. Nice. Alright, so before we go across. Big money. Man, we're popping. What's over here? Should I go up that or check over here? Get it. This is easy. <laughs> Didn't stand a chance. Alright, more I'm I'm making so much money right now. Every attack during a combat entails the following. First, the attacker makes an attack roll, compares the result to the target's AC to see if the attack was a hit or a miss. If the attack hits, the attacker makes a damage roll to see how much damage it deals. Attack is an attempt to harm an enemy during combat. Thank you. To make an attack roll, you roll a d20 and then add various bonuses and penalties from the equipped weapon, various abilities, active spells, and other factors. Some of all these numbers make up the attack roll. Okay. For example, in the last combat, your character Sheila attacked the enemy spitting giant centipede and got 15. Let's break down the result. Rolling the d20 resulted in 9. Attack bonus plus 6. Base attack plus 1. Strength plus 3. Other plus 2 flanking. Armor class is a st st statistic that d <laughs> designates how hard it is to damage a creature, be it thanks to heavy armor, nimble evasiveness, protective magic, or something else. To overcome the AC, and damage the target, you need to make an attack roll and get the results equal or greater than the target's AC or lo roll lower than the target's AC results in a miss. Every creature's base AC is 10. This number is modified by a multitude of bonuses and penalties re relating to the armor, equip, dexterity, attribute, bonuses, abilities, after spells, and so on. For example, your enemy spitting giant spider has AC equal to 12. This results in this result is a sum of the following sources. Armor class 12, base value 10, difficulty minus 2, dexterity, bonus plus 2, natural armor, plus 2. To see your character's AC and attack bonus, select this character and open the inventory. You will see these numbers on the left side of the screen. 
What? <clears throat> okay. To make an attack, your character needs weapons. Some swing swords, some bite with mandibles, some burn the enemy with magic fire. The damage is a successful attack deals depends on the weapon itself, the result, the dice roll, the various factors such as target's resistance or vulnerability to certain types of magic. For example, your character Sheila attacked the enemy spitting giant spider until 10. Let's break this down. 1, D, 8, plus 3, equals 10 slashing. Combat damage reduces the target's hit points. When the hit points count reach 0, a player's character faints and an enemy dies. Character's hit points can go below 0. Character can survive as long as the number of their negative hit points is lower than their constitution ability score. When the negative hit points reach this number, the character dies. Got it. Okay. Bone meal. Does not look like a good meal at all. Like crossbow. I keep thinking the crossbows are pickaxes. Fine. Feather. It's a merchant item. Okay. Um, I don't know, man. I'm starting to think I should try this climbing part right back here. Was it here? Where was it? It was, wait. Rubble, get across. Because I think we can just go back. The mongrel did it. Wait, where are we? Did I miss this loot? There's no way I missed loot. No way I missed loot. Sorry. Okay, I think we got this. Oh, there's loot here. Wait, what is happening? They're not dead. All right, easy. What do we have here? Bro, it's purple loot. Thirty-five gold coins. Wand of cure light runes. Man. Well, half if used to damage. Holy smokes. We just got a light heal wand. That's huge. It's so good that I came back. This is why you gotta come to all the unexplored unexplored places. Because you get massive loot. That's huge. Alright, we made it back across. That's right, move out. Previously defeated foes. I oh. found the hearts of that scared me, bro. Just two giant spiders, man. I already killed your friends. Let's get them. Easy fire, fire attack. Man, Oof. exploded. Time for loot. What's this? Hama. Okay. Pearl. Well, it's big. Master work great sword. Light shield. We loot everything. Just always press the tab button. Just happened. I can't move. Oh, we're chatting. Where is the voice acting? Hello? Is that all the voice acting we get? Bro, I was really digging the voice acting. Wanda glances at Lan, who is fixing his slipped bowstring, and quickly walks over to you. Her cat-like eyes glow from beneath her hood. Listen here, you. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you and I are the only two people here who see things clearly. That's why I'm asking you. Don't show the light of heaven to Saul. Huh, Interesting. Lan is sure that the light should be shown to the mongrels. I thought you considered the mongrels to be great warriors. Don't you want to save the kids lost in the maze? I'll think about it. Let's go. Lan. Wendwe grimaces and a guttural husky snarl unfurls in her throat. He wants to play the hero. His first idea, if you remember, was to grab the sword and run headlong into the maze. Does that sound like a plan to you? To me it sounds like suicide. The worst part is that the tribe might actually take his word to heart and follow where he leads. I thought you considered the mongrels to be great warriors. The descendants of great warriors. I believe that my people are worthy of greatness. But we are strong and can do many things. That's why we were chased down here. We, sc we scared people. But it's one thing to go hunting in the caves and another to fight in the shield maze. 
Wanderer leans closer, her pupils dilating. I've been there. I've spent my whole life training so I can make it through all the way to the end. There were more of us trackers at the start. We were young and stupid. What's a couple of monsters when there's a whole world out there just waiting for us? That's what we thought, but we weren't prepared. The maze isn't just a physical challenge. It's cunning and full of traps. It's dark as the primordial night, and if you close your eyes and listen, you hear whispers right behind you and soft singing in the distance. That seems to rise and fall with the beating of your heart. Wandering looks away. I had to learn from my friends' mistakes. I had to step over their bodies and go further. I don't want to have to do that again, and it will happen again if I crowd. If a crowd of ill-prepared fighters bursts into the maze with no idea where they're going, all because Land believes that a glowing sword will solve all the problems. Don't you want to save the kids lost in the maze? I do want to, but I'm not going to risk the future of the tribe for the sake of a few stupid kids. Chief Saul is hesitant, and for good reason. He also understands how dangerous this is for the tribe. Man's the only one who benefits from the childish games of heroism. I'll go along if I have to find them, or whatever is left of them, without any heroics, relying only on myself, risking only my life. When do I close? You and your friends, you can come with me. Perhaps we can make it to the end of the maze together and find the way out to the surface. I'll think about it. Let's go. Wandwig nods. Don't show the chief the light, and I'll lead you through the maze to the surface. I swear it. Hmm. Now we've got some decisions to make. Leaving a location. Click this icon to leave a location. To leave your whole party needs to be near it. Before leaving the location, you'll be able to review and collect the loot you've left behind. What? So we don't even have we don't even have to collect the loot. It's so weird. Did we Okay, so we did go this way. Right? Yeah, so now we go here. All right. I don't know where we are now. Head on. Um, we can't go over there, so we have to follow. Uplanders, they should have stayed on the surface. They have no business coming down here. Listen, buddy. I got the sword of light. Bringing the sword of light to your town, but I actually don't think I'm supposed to show you. Because we'll all run in and die, or at least you guys will. These are my first impressions of the Mongo village. It is a squalid dump with the odors to match. Unblinking, glowing eyes watch you from the gloom, and deformed shadows slope between the huts. You see some mongrels gutting white eyeless, eyeless fish while others are repairing fishing nets, all the signs of normal village life, but tense. Expectations hang in the air. Chief Sol. Find the way up, rest in the hut. Chief Sol, a heavy set, aged mongrel, slowly shuffles his way towards you. The hair on his head grows in limp, wispy strands, and his face has a distinctly rat like appearance with pronounced teeth and you hear a rattling sound in his chest with every breath he takes. One of his eyes is white, fully scarred by cataracts, while the other gleams with moisture. Uplandersh, eh? And timish are upon us, indeed. Chief Sol, we found the angel's sword, and we found the one who can wield it. Land points at you. He had a vision, and now the angel's sword, together with the light of heaven, are somehow inside him. Gather the tribe, anyone who can hold a weapon. The young ones are still alive. We can go save them. Okay. Hmm. Saul raises a hand with a ragged broken fingernail. Ah, land, always dreaming, always talking. You're too hashty, too hashty for your own good. Itish, going to get you in trouble. Saul eyes you up and down. An uplander with the light of heaven. That is too good for us. Our kind don't have good things just happen. There's always a catch. Land trusts people because he likes to believe. Isht. 
that right, Lon. I'm the chief. I don't work on faith. Show the light. Okay. I'm having a hard time talking like this. Whoa. Throughout the game, you occasionally encountered colored options marked as associated with a specific mythic path. These are dialogue branches that embody the spirit of a particular manifestation of mythic powers. In the earlier stages of the game, these options must be selected in order to gain the opportunity to set out on the corresponding mythic path. And once your mythic path is set, unique alternatives inaccessible to other mythic paths will become available to you. Okay. Wandoig stares at you intently like a cat watching a bird and shakes her head in warning. Is there someone else here from the surface? So it points off to the side. There is one. Hale and Hardy and Prima is a peacock just like me. So laughs but quickly returns to business. It's not good. Too many uplanders. Not good. Not right. What are you up to here? You're not one of us. We're not your kind. When the time comes, we'll come to you. Not you to us. I will help you find the lost mongrels in the maze but you can quit hoping for a magical sword to appear. Lawful. Requires angel mythic path. Land speaks the truth. Chaotic. Land is mistaken. We didn't find the sword. Okay. So this is a chaotic choice. So I can be lawful evil or uh, chaotic evil. Um, what should I do? I will help you find the lost mongrels in the maze, but you can quit hoping for a magical sword to appear. Reveal the light of the heaven. Uh, man, choices, bro. Land is mistaken. We didn't find the sword. Man whips around to look at you, stunned. He clenches his fist for a moment. Oh wait, I like this guy. It's alright. As if planning to shake the truth out of you, but he quickly gets a handle on himself. I don't know why you're lying. No doubt you have your reasons, but I know it's a lie, and you know it. And Wendu knows it. Land turns to Wendu. Tell him, Wendu. Wendu stares blank. I saw the light shining between the rocks, and then it went out. Land saw what he wanted to see. Why are you doing this? Doing what? Telling the truth? You saw some kind of light near me, and you thought that meant I now have the angel sword. You were mistaken. There's no need to drag other people into it. I don't want the blood of gullible mongrels on my hands. Yeah. Land shakes his head in despair. So now instead, we'll both have the blood of young mongrels on our hands. Kids waiting for help that'll never come. Everybody around me said that they didn't want to go anywhere or save anyone, but I didn't believe them. I always have to take things further than anybody else. Isn't that right, Chief? Fine. I see how things are. I don't need any more convincing. Lan offers a crooked smile. Peach Lan, miracle-ish are not meant for us. We are the tribe. We wait. If you want one of us, you will wait. We're not going anywhere, Uplanders. Rest now. There is hut over there. You can rest there. Man is silent, his eyes shifting from you and Saul to Wendwig. You made the right choice. It was the lesser of two evils. And now, rest so we can be at our best when we go into the maze. I promise to lead you to the surface, then I will. Level Advancement I already leveled up. Combat victories and other achievements give your character experience points. After accumulating a certain amount of experience, a character gains a new level. It allows them to take a new class or raise their level in one of the classes they already possess. It also gives them other advantages, such as hit points. When a character gains a level, they can get new feats, learn new spells and skills, and increase ability scores. The exact improvement a character gets depends on their classes and the number of their total levels. Got it. So I leveled up. Man, that's big. All right, boom. Okay, rogue. Stick with rogue. Hello? Okay. <clears throat> so now I have to pick one of these? I don't understand why every rogue is a female. As a rogue gains experience, she learns a number of talents. So weird. Um, 
evasion. A character can avoid even magical and unusual attacks with great agility. Now it's a he. He instead takes no damage. Should I? Okay. Let's go with increased. I mean, I don't get to actually choose one. Interesting. Okay, so I picked rogue and I click next. I understand now. Trickery. Mobility. Stealth. Perception. Persuasion. Oh, and I get an extra one now. Um. Negative one. It's negative one. Negative one. So we might as well go with. Dang, dude. I guess this. Because these are negative two, negative two, negative one, negative one, and negative one. It's not very helpful. Okay, next. Weapon focus. Dagger, obviously. Next. Okay, so that's it. And then this young lady. Hold on. Paladin. Wait. I don't want to have to level up <clears throat> each class myself. Uh, zero points. So I guess it already did it. Complete. Easy. Uh, spirit Shaman. Wait, what? Cancel. Chill, bro. Okay, so automatic leveling is on. I just have to go in and click next. Okay. Whatever you say. Boom. Now we're all level two. We're rolling. Um, oh yeah, my shelter. Mongrel. Loot. Man, I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna be so rich soon. That's so good. Which shelter is mine? It won't let me in any of them. Mongrel, mongrel. Where's my shelter, bro? You follow. It's right. Boop. Broccoli. Silver. Animal hide. Hey, wait. Journal. Um. Rest in the hut. Onwards. Where's my hut? Is this my hut? No, I just checked here. Let me in my hut. Bro. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Finally, someone from the surface. I was beginning to lose hope. An elderly man in expensive but not ostentatious clothes approaches you. His face is peppered with several healed cuts and bruises and twisted in an expression of extreme discontent. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Horgus Gworm. Yes, that Gworm. You no doubt have heard of me if you've spent any time at all in the city. I have a business proposition for you. Um... Your name tells me nothing. Who are you? You truly are freshly arrived in the city then. You could have picked a worse time. That's for certain. Only just arrived, and the city's been raised to rubble. You should know that you are looking at one of the richest and most distinguished men in Canterbury's. I may not be as well known as certain swaggering loudmouths who spend their lives traspeing from one ball to the next, but the Gworm Trading Company is one of the pillars of the city. I'll have you know. Did you see the Marquis in the square? I paid for those. Tried any festival delicacies? You have Horgus Gworm to thank for that. How did you end up here? He probably fell down like you did. For a moment, Horgus' eyes focus on Camellia before he gaze returns to you. Like everyone else, down I went when that accursed beetle cleaved the ground in twain beneath our feet. I'm lucky I didn't break my neck in the fall. 
and I'm double lucky that I didn't encounter any subterranean cockroaches on my blind wanderings, and instead came across hunters from the settlement. Although I must say, when I first glimpsed their physiognomies, my life flashed before my eyes. But they turned out to be decent chaps, frightening to look at, but able to keep a bargain. You don't speak very kindly of the mongrels, even though they saved your life. Ha, kind words are for people with hours to fritter away on pleasantries. Horgus Squirm speaks his mind, and he pays for services rendered, not with kind words, but with hard coin. Gave the mongrels my dagger in exchange for their help. Its handle is worth more than their whole village. I want that dagger. Where's the dagger? I want it. Where is the dagger? Where? Let me click a different option. Number five. Where is the dagger? What kind of business proposition? I don't know what is happening on the service right now, but I'm determined to find out. You have no intention of seeing out the rest of your days in this village, I suspect. You must find a route back to the surface, to the city, if there's anything left of it. You look promising, like someone who can turn a demon into minced meat before they have time to sneeze. Could use a companion like you. You are strong. It will be no trouble for you. But I, alas, am not as fit as I once was. I can't go crawling through the caves, playing all the scouts. My proposition is simple. Lead me back to the city, and I shall pay you a thousand gold coins. Dang. Bro. A thousand. You can buy so many things with- Oh! Two thousand! Diplomacy 16 plus- I have plus nine diplomacy. I have plus nine diplomacy. Okay. All right, suggest so we help this man. It's good to have friends among the Kinebrews elite. All right, we got this 2,000 gold. Brick! Why not 10,000 or 100? No, let's not be miserly. Let's say a million. My initial offer was a king's ransom. You've likely never seen so much gold in your life. It's non-negotiable. I said 1,000. It's my final offer. Money first. I would gladly pay in advance, but all my wealth is up. Damn it! Fear not. The word of Gorm is worth more than platinum. Ask anyone. Horgus Gorm has never reneged on a deal. Fine. Deal. Splendid. In the meantime, I shall sit here in the village. We have to go. Go on, go on. Don't forget our agreement. When you find the way out, be sure to tell me. End dialogue. That's right. That's right, we're gonna make a thousand gold. But we're gonna have to save it for the next video. I think it's been about half an hour, maybe a bit longer, maybe not quite. But this is where we call it quits for now on this video, and I'm gonna see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.